Okay, let's do something completely fun on this video. Let's take Minecraft, which is a virtual world in and of itself, and use GAN technology, which you've probably seen to generate all these fake faces. These people that you're seeing here, they're not real. They were generated by a uh, advanced neural network trained on a GPU. And we're going to generate Minecraft scenes with it. You can see some of these here. I would generated this with a GAN that I trained over multiple days using some of this hardware that Lenovo was very kind to let me use for my YouTube channel. We're using a Lenovo ThinkStation P920 did the bulk of this training. It is running two Quadro RTX 8000 GPUs, so 96 gigabytes of GPU RAM being thrown at this problem. So I basically took a video, you can see it here, of me, I just pretty much went in a straight line and recorded it, just using normal screencast technology, and took that video, then used FFmpeg to break it apart into a bunch of individual images. Then I took those and trained my GAN on it. And the GAN is able to replicate. You can see multiple examples of these here. Minecraft environment. You Some of these don't look as good as others. That is typical of, of GANs. do this in two parts. First I'm just going to show you how to generate your own Minecraft GAN images from my pre-trained neural network. In the second part I'll show you how you can actually train it yourself. Now if you want to train something like this yourself from captured video that takes a lot more compute and you'll need a GPU on your local computer. However just to generate these you can do this entirely on the cloud using Google Colab. Go to the link that I gave you in the description of this video and it'll take you to this page and click open in Colab. That will launch a Google Colab instance. You don't need to copy it to the drive unless you want to save changes that you've made to it. So let's go ahead and scroll down. This first block of Python code, you need to run that. Just tell it that you trust the code. I wrote it, not Google, so I trust myself. And this takes a moment. We'll fast forward through this. You can see it's loading the appropriate libraries for this. And this part is going to load my pre-trained neural network for Minecraft. You can also uncomment the second line if you want to do the traditional faces that you see with GANs. So we'll go ahead and run this. This takes a moment. We'll fast forward through it. The neural network that trains this is nearly 250 megabytes, so it takes a little bit to download it. First thing is if you just want to explore some seeds. So seeds are just numbers. They're almost like Minecraft seeds, except these each seed is going to produce a a very different image. So if you go from 3000 to 3001, the images will be quite different. We'll see that there's ways that we can fine tune between the images. But here I'm running it. Takes it a moment to do this. So we'll fast forward through this and this will generate images 3000, 1 and 2 at 50% scale. If you want them to be a full scale, which will be 1024 pixel square, feel free to change that to 1.0 except it's going, you're gonna have a lot of images in this notebook. We'll see if you wanna generate a large number of images, how to better do that in a moment. Okay, there you can see, it's generated one of these. The first one was, there's kind of some rain going on and some some distortion here. This is a pretty nice looking desert, really. I'm quite quite happy with, with both of those two deserts. Sometimes it likes to put trees on the top of sand dunes, which is, which is kind of interesting. Now say you wanna generate a large number of images, maybe like, a uh, hundred of them, or f even a thousand of them. You can run this, and it is going to basically go from seed 3000 to 3100. You can see it's going relatively fast here. It's just looping through all of those, and it's putting those all into a file that I'm going to then zip with this command. So as soon as this finishes, we can zip it, and now we'll zip it, and then finally we run this command and we'll download it. And then it downloads that to your browser, and we can and we can go ahead and take a look at these generated images. So there's that first one that we've seen before, except this is now full resolution and you can 
just kind of cursor through these and take a look at all the different I mean here you see trees in the middle of the desert so that's a bit abstract it's a lava waterfall looked down upon I think there's a tree on top of a sand dune and there it's snowing there's a view of sort of an arctic region in very abstract look desert and you can see it definitely figures out to put the clouds in front of the sun still not sure about putting trees in the middle of deserts nice sunset snowing in the desert <laughs> that's fun there's a nice kind of iceberg arctic region and i did put some night images in here so it was trained on night images so you'll definitely see those as well forests so it's re it really has learned a pretty good idea of what the minecraft world looks like now it blends things here i mean we've got a little bit of desert plain and other things going on in some of these underwater i did dive a little bit as i was creating these and that's a very abstract one and also raining Okay, so the next thing to do is if we go back to the notebook, what you can do is create these nice transitional videos. So I don't know, say we went back to here and we found a couple of seeds that we really liked, like seed 3033, whatever. We could then put those all into this nice list that we have here and we can generate a video. And when we run this, it generates transitions between all of these various frames. Now these are the same frames that were in the notebook. I did not change that. So it's just going to generate an image kind of of transitions between whatever those seeds happen to be. This one definitely takes a moment, so we'll fast forward through this. But it's basically generating all the transitions between those various seeds. All right, that finally finished. So let's go ahead and download it. That gives you just a file named movie mp4, which is going to be nice transitions between those various seeds that I generated. And we'll allow. And let's go ahead and open that. And here you can see the nice, cool GAN sort of transitions. I do find it interesting that the snowflakes and rain just stay fixed in the sky. I have no idea why it does that. All right. And there we are. That was the video that it generated. Now, how did I actually create this? This is part two where I'll show you how to actually train on something like this. What's unique about this compared to some of the other GAN videos that I did is I trained this from video. So essentially, the way that I did this is I loaded up Minecraft, like you can see here. I went into Minecraft. I am actually running on Minecraft for the Macintosh. So what I did here is I used QuickTime to screen record and in Minecraft, I also turned off the that little crosshair that's in the middle because that just gets in the way of the kind of cinematic look of what I'm trying to, to produce here. I don't want the I don't want the little Minecraft guy's arm and the crosshair in the middle of it. So I record this. This gives me an MP4 file. You can use any screen cord recorder that you want, but what you're going to need to do is take that MP4 file and break it apart into individual images. There's a bunch of ways to do that. The one that I prefer is a nice utility called FFmpeg. It's a command line utility. You can run on a Windows, Mac, whatever. I give you the exact FFmpeg command that I used, and that basically just takes it and splits it out into a bunch of images that are all the images of as I went through this Minecraft world. And you can, you can see some of the images here. But that is basically how I I created this neural network. Once I have those images, then I can train them with a, just like I've, I've, I have another video that I'll also link to that shows you how to actually train one of these. Now you do need a GPU or two on your own local computer because I trained this Minecraft GAN over about two days with a dual GPU system. So it, it takes a lot of compute power to actually train a GAN. You can also use pay services like Runway. Just do a search on Runway GAN. I have no affiliation with that company, but they do make it pretty easy. You just upload images and you can train your own GAN. Thank you for watching this video. And if you're interested in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and all things AI, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't do a lot of Minecraft though, by the way, but it is a game that I enjoyed playing and I thought it would be a great source of images to put into the, the GAN.